This is Jill Maurer with Your Jewelry Minute, and today I'm answering the question, what is the Mohs scale? And sometimes when you're looking at a ring or you're looking at a piece of jewelry, a jeweler will tell you what it is on the Mohs scale, and you may think, why do I care? Well, what the Mohs scale does is it gives you an idea of the hardness of a stone. Certain stones will scratch other stones, which is why you never want to jumble them up in your jewelry box. And certain stones will easily crack or break if you were to bang it on the side of your dresser. So it is nice to know how durable the stone is that you are wearing. And the Mohs scale was created by a man named Friedrich Mohs, who was a German mineralogist, and he did this in 1812. And that's what gives us this idea. So he, he lined everything up and saw what was harder based on what would scratch what. So, you know, a diamond will scratch a sapphire, which means a diamond is higher on the Mohs scale, and the sapphire won't scratch the diamond. So he lined everything up, and then he wanted the scale to go between one and 10. So he arbitrarily set certain stones at the integrals. For example, tau Alk is a one, topaz is an eight, and diamond is a 10. And for each integral, there's a stone that defines it and the others fall between it. So it is important to know that the Mohs scale is not linear, meaning uh, the difference between a five and a six is not the same as between a nine and a 10. It goes like this. So the difference between a five and a six isn't that much, but a nine and a 10 is a lot. So if you're looking at jewelry and you ask, what is this on the Mohs scale? You're looking for it to be in a ring, to be really hard enough to be in a ring. You'd like it to be a seven or above. A seven or above is pretty pretty safe. You can do a six and a half. You can even do a two. I mean, you know, a pearl is a two. You can do it, but you just know that you have to be a little more careful with it as far as it breaking, as far as its hardness. And it's why jewelers talk about the Mohs scale. It's not the only factor, but it is a good indication of how well it will wear. I hope this answers your question. If you've got a jewelry question for me, just ask me in the comments below. Until next time.